Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rock in the Country. I got to jump on some of these videos sooner than I thought I would be able to get to. So I've got Tracy Bird's song, The Truth About Men. And it's on Vivo, so it might be blocked, right? And um, I'll re-upload it with audio only. That takes a bit of extra time. But um, just so that you guys know when you make gift requests, Vivo is almost always blocked. So it was requested by Scott Powell. So Scott, shout out to you, my friend. Thank you for this. And you said this. In interviews, Tracy has laughingly confirmed that he showed up to the shoot with a pickup truck loaded with all the booze. And they started drinking several hours before the shoot started. And it is quite obvious that a lot of them are completely smashed. <laughs> okay. It's a hilariously rollicking fun watch. Uh, it's sadly a Vivo video, so you're aware of that, but likely too old for it to matter. Not true. The older Vivo videos are blocked just as much as the newer ones are. But better safe than sorry. The older videos, period, the copyright holders, you know, the labels, the, you know, the royalties, whoever owns the copyrights. Those are the ones that they've had a harder time getting on top of digitally to let YouTube know that they're okay to use. They just get all the ad revenue. So in any case, YouTube doesn't tell us any of this stuff until we upload it. So let's see what Tracy's got for us. Oh, this is Tracy Bird, Andy Griggs, Montgomery Gentry, Blake Shelton. Okay, maybe they were all hammered. They're all hammered. We don't like to go out shopping. We don't care what's on sale. We just want to sit with a bag full of chips watching the NFL. When you come over at halftime and say, does this dress fit too tight? We just look you in the eye with a big fat lie and say, uh-uh, looks just right. <laughs> well, that's the truth about men. Yeah, that's the truth about us We like to hunt and golf on our days off Scratch and spit and cuss yeah. And no matter what line we hand you When we come dragging in We ain't wrong, we ain't sorry And it's probably gonna happen again that is not true. I'm just going on record when we're. <laughs> I'll speak for me. When I say I'm sorry, I truly mean I'm sorry. Anyway, let's see where else they go with this. And this is where we have to swim upstream against this perception. Because it does fit self, but not all. <laughs> I do love my gender, though. I'll say that. We hate watching steel magnolias. We like Rambo and die hard for. Jump up and die like fools when we see the new tool at the Home Depot store. We yep. don't really want to take you to dinner at some fancy restaurant. The only I reason do. we do is because we know it leads to the one thing that we yeah. all want. <laughs> well, that's the truth about men. Yeah, that's the truth about guys. We'd rather pick guitar. in our lives <laughs> I know we might say it to you every now and then we ain't wrong we ain't sorry and it's probably gonna happen again but if you want to know what we're all thinking it's nothing too complex it's just something cold for drinking and a whole lot of yes that's the truth about men yeah that's the truth about us Unbelievable. we like to hunt and golf and drive around lost scratching spit and a whole lot of other disgusting stuff and no matter what line we give you when we come crawling in we ain't wrong we ain't sorry and it's probably gonna happen again we ain't wrong, we ain't sorry, and it's probably gonna happen, sure it's gonna happen, you know it's gonna happen again. That's the truth about me. <laughs>
that may, that may be the truth about some men. Some of us like are way more into having relationships than others. I don't know. I wonder what the female version of this would be. I'm sure it's been written probably by Miranda or the Pistol Annies. And I, I like a lot of their music, but I wonder if they've got one. Well, oh my God, there's one. It's like Hell on Heels. Hell in Heels or Hell on Heels. But that, that's a little bit different. Those, those are about female players who take guys for uh, married men for what they're take stuff from them or they'll tell their wives but in this i don't know what the female version of this would be we're like this we do this we do this and we're going to do this again and and i do know women know that they put things to men i know this i speak with a lot of women not just in life coaching but I'm like i'm my surrogate daughters just at a certain point in life you understand and i used to own a dance studio by the way for 20 years with my now ex-wife and in that environment, I was, my desk was right in the lobby of the studio. And the things that the women told me are just conversations I heard that the mothers would have with each other or the girls would have with each other. They know when they're putting it to their guy. They know it. And I, I heard lots of women say, and they're like, I don't know why he puts up with me. Like, I was so bitchy to him or whatever. And I, that was like a revelation to me because as a guy, like I didn't know that women were aware that they were doing that to their guy. Like it's, you know, we guys don't let's say like purposely walk into a beehive or, or, or poke the bear. We don't try to. I mean, we screw up, but all that's said in here. Yeah, we like fishing, we like golfing, but there's a balance to be struck. You know, you ask your woman, hey, I want to go golfing with the golfing with the buddies next Thursday or whatever. Are you cool with that? Do we have other plans? And she'll probably say that that's cool. We're not doing anything, but there are plenty of songs written about like the guy just, just decided to go fishing on his own with his buddies and he didn't check in with his girlfriend or his wife. And that is a problem. You have to show her that level of respect that, <laughs> but this is funny, but yeah, this paints guys in a horrible light. We're probably going to do it again, whatever it is. But that, I mean, those things are very true in the beginning of a relationship. If relationships last a while, those bugs tend to get worked out. And um, in any case, Scott, I don't know if you've played this song for your significant other, but boy, oh boy, <laughs> you're going to have to fess up on that one and how it went. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. So, all right, that was funny, though. That was Blake when he had long hair, too. All right, gosh. <laughs> Jeff Gather's on his way now. He's part of the henchmen. Yeah, this is a Montauk Ed special. I'm giving this an 8.9. I laughed. I love the idea behind the song, but the lyrics aren't true. Not entirely. Maybe it's true for some dudes, but good Lord. Anyhow. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you for that, Scott. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.